Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to loop your animations in DaVinci Resolve. But real quick, I found a way to edit that is probably about four times faster than what I've been doing previously. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll make a video showing you guys how I've been editing four times as fast as normal pretty good. So without any further ado, let's learn how to loop our animations in DaVinci Resolve. Here we are on the edit page. This is not where most of it's going to take place. Most of it's going to take place in Fusion, but this is where we should start. So for this, I'm going to be just using an adjustment clip and I'm going to make an effect right here for you guys live. What we're going to do for our effect is use the new shape tool and we're going to go ahead and grab a rectangle and we're just going to spin that rectangle. So we'll get a rectangle, we will get a render and then a merge and then we'll bring all these together here. Move those up. Pop them like this. So now we have our rectangle and we're gonna drag a transform right here. Now that we have our rectangle, we have our transform in our node web. We're gonna move on over to our first frame or wherever you want this to start, I guess, for you. For me, first frame. I'm gonna make a keyframe on rotation because that's the parameter that we wanna be affecting right now. And then I'm gonna move forward just a few frames and then I'm gonna rotate that to right there. And now I'm gonna go forward a few more frames and I'm gonna rotate it back to where it started. This way the loop is seamless. Now what we're gonna do is open up our spline editor. We're gonna get those keyframes in our spline editor, zoom out a little bit so we can see absolutely everything here. You can select one or just click in here and hit Control A or Command A or just drag over all of them, whatever your preference is. And then once you have them selected, you're gonna come down to this little menu down here and you're gonna click Set loop and once you do that if we zoom in all the rest of this is gone and turned into a bunch of spikes those spikes represent our rotation and they look exactly the same as our first spike so if we watch this back now yep right there and I guess it would look more seamless if instead of going back to zero we went to 360 here instead yeah that might look better yeah, now it just spins. And it will do that for as long as you make the adjustment clip on the edit page so we can stretch this way out and it will spin that whole time or you can have it spin for just a little bit of time, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so we've got our rotation set and you could actually do this with any parameter you want as long as it'll show up in the spline editor. So we can go ahead and change our size if we want to, but I'm gonna express real quick the X to the Y size so that it stays a square. Shrink that down a little bit. And then again, we'll start at the beginning here and then we'll make a keyframe. We'll move ahead a little bit, make it go where we want it to go, which is going to be right back to there. And then I'm going to check what that was at, 0.45. Yeah, so we'll make this 0.9 so that it just doubles. And then we'll move forward a little bit more. And we will bring this back to 0.45. Now if we go into our spline editor again and just go ahead and pop these open, go ahead and select all of them. Press loop, and now we have all these size changes. So we'll go watch this back, and it shrinks and grows forever. That's pretty sweet. So I'll pop back to the rotation example real quick, and we'll get back into that edit page. If you need a repeating animation, this is how you do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget, if you wanna learn how to edit about four times faster in DaVinci Resolve, Make sure this video gets 50 likes. So share it, like it yourself, have your friends like it. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you have any questions about this, ask them in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one.